morning. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. This is Shay in Silver Lake, Oregon. It is 59 degrees. The air quality is moderate, which means not good. And as you can see, the hazy, no blue sky really. A little bit, but mostly it's hazy. The high is going to be 91. Oh, this is not droopy this morning. So this is just like a temperamental sunflower. I don't know. And oh, look how tall they've gotten. I swear they've grown so much overnight. Ooh, look at those two. Like little best friends. I like that these two are facing each other. It's hilarious. It's like they have so much to say. And they've just got... That one's a pretty one. And now I have a mosquito flopping by me. Oh, this one's cool. Remember this is that twisted one? I'm in love with this one. This one I want to take... Okay, that's my new trick that I learned to take a photo. So that will help me because whenever I think, oh, I want to go back and take a picture, I don't because my ADHD doesn't let me. Why is there a bug on this one? There's two bugs on this one. Come on, go away. So that I can take a picture. There we go. <laughs> they were bees. I would have totally snapped that but not bugs i don't know what's up with the bugs when with my friend yesterday that's a pretty one back there and um watered her she has one pig jamal and then the place that she keeps the pig at they have a pig i forget that pig's name and maybe i should snap a picture of this one just because Um, and this one's doing good, but let's go out and look at this outside here. Anyway, so I took some videos of them. They get so excited when they have company, which is every day, <laughs> like three times a day, the pigs get visitors and they're so funny. They get so excited over visitors because every time they get visitors, they get let either let into the pen or let out of the pen. So it's like a new thing for them every time. Ooh. This one. That's pretty. That one looks good too, though. And so do those. They all, I mean, of course, sunflowers are beautiful. But I've seen a lot of cool sunflowers over the years of growing them that it's hard to be impressed as much anymore all righty let's go out here let's go let's go i already let bruce out because i had to i started a video and then i had to restart it because if i don't get everything member oh this is august 6th if i don't memorize everything right off the bat oh that turned white which i did not notice oh there there's two white ones that looks pretty. This white one's prettier though. The other white one's been there longer and I apparently didn't notice it. Oh, I love that. I love the mix. Now you guys are all part of my photographer. Wait, where was I starting at? Oh, this needs watered super bad. Nothing really going on in my little... Although my green... My peppers are starting to look great. They're doing fantastic. And I like them in the pail because I can always take that pail off. And just set it somewhere. What is that? Looks like intestines. 
What? I see no tracks. What? That is odd to say the least. I don't see any hmm. it's my dog's foot. I can see my dog's tracks, but I know my dog didn't do that. Bees are working. Stay focused, focused, focused. Those are my dog's tracks. I know my dog's paws. But... There is this track that I don't recognize. This is my dog. That is my dog. But that's not. That is not my dog. Dog's tracks go this way. Those tracks had to have come from this direction because there's no tracks. They're only through here. But it's all my dog. Huh. That's really weird. It was not, that's fresh. That's from like last night. That's crazy. Oh, those are doing good. Those are beets. I look down there. They're like massive. I have to pull them. So I found the beets and the corn is doing amazing. These are beefy sunflowers. Crud. Now I have to like clean that up before my, my dog made it from the house to right there <laughs> in the morning. So like at the end of this video, I have to go clean that up because I don't want him to find that. And then I've got these ant hills that decided to but I wanted to turn the sprinkler on although look at how dewy it looks on the grass I did not have the sprinkler on yesterday at all because I went to my friend's house we went and uh, fed and watered her, her pig and her neighbor's pig and then we went back to her house and then I came home like at 6 o'clock, fell asleep, woke up at 1.30 in the morning, went back to bed, woke up at like 3.40, went back to bed, gave up like at 6.30 this morning. Now it's 8. Or it is at least 8.10. Because this is a 10 minute video so far. So I did absolutely nothing in the garden other than sleep. I should turn the sprinkler on now. And then hopefully I remember to pick up that nastiness I did work a little bit right here just leveling it out but it's just too smoky for me to be outside it's just way too 
like even with my my allergy stuff I just can't I'm just too stuffed up too my ear starts bothering me my neck starts bothering my throat starts bothering me <laughs> it's just too much well the sunflowers are looking tall and beautiful look how normally we have these big blue skies and then with all the smoke, I'm not sure if it's coming from the Oregon fire up by Portland, Hillsboro, or wherever. Or if it's from the California fires. Or, like, if it's a fire that's close to here. I don't know. But it is absolutely terrible. It clears up a little tiny, like that rain helped it a little bit, but then after that, right back to being smoky. Still haven't heard anything about, haven't seen or heard any of the foxes. I haven't even heard any coyotes at night. I don't know if they've caught that cougar or not. I don't think so because I haven't heard any anything about it. But I got a bunch of shorts I'm going to upload of... The little of the piglets. It's my friend's 4-H pig. So. It's full of full H. I'll let this run for. It's going to be 91 today. It's only 59 right now. So I figure I'll run the sprinklers for a little bit. And then I got to go get my tires changed. Right here in town. And then. Not come out of the house until it cools down in the evening. I got to make sure I water tonight because last night I took a break. I mean, I'm watering this morning, so. And it still looks pretty wet up front. So it looks. Oh, I just saw him. He was down here by the thing that my son found in the ocean, the pee thing. So I'm guessing he's going to pop out over here. Because he's got to go somewhere. tripping over stuff because otherwise he's just going to get wet in there. I don't think that little squirrel thing killed a mouse or anything. If that's like mouth's intestines and a mouse heart. I don't know. That was pretty weird. I've never found anything like that. I found a dead mouse last year in my yard that I just assumed a bird dropped or something. And then I found another dead mouse in my yard this year, like right on the sidewalk. And then now I find intestines. That's weird. Absolutely weird. Like that is so crazy. What a weird, weird video. What a weird video. Crazy Vimeo. All right. I'm wishing you a lovely day, week, hour, and month. Peace, love, and happiness. And uh, may the Lord be with you. And may everything go well at work. May everything go well with your neighbors. Because I see a lot of na crazy, angry neighbor videos. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I love all my neighbors. Like, what? What? I cannot imagine. I've been pretty lucky, though. I've had good neighbors, even through the years. I can't really think of any. I didn't really... Like, if I didn't know them or whatever, that I didn't know them, I minded my own business. If I did know them, I got along with them. You know? That's how it is. I hope my sunflowers are getting wet back there. I'm watching the sprinkler. It stops here. And it goes out to the echinaceas. I can't really tell if it's... I don't know. I'll look after a while. 
when I go to move the sprinklers. I have to move. Oh, look at him seeping. All right. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully the smoke will go away. Pray for the fires to subside. All right. Have a nice day. Bye.